KPSH Jasmine Ramirez explains how these energy alerts work and what they mean for the power at your home. SDG&E has a list of all the areas it serves. The list is in order of which circuits would be turned off first. Here's a look at SDG&E's website. You can see the circuits starting with Casa de Oro, Point Loma, Laguna Hills, and so on. SDG&E says it would begin cutting power from the first half dozen circuits listed. Those circuits would be without power for about an hour, and the next set of circuits would follow. The need for these outages all comes back to supply and demand. So there's a bit of this vicious cycle where like the heat itself causes people to use more electricity. Um, and then <laughs> it also like makes the grid itself a, a little bit less efficient. Today marked our seventh day of flex alerts. They're meant to encourage people to voluntarily conserve energy and avoid blackouts. Yesterday morning, Cal ISO elevated the situation to a level one emergency. An energy expert explains what this first level means. It, it's safe to say that there is serious concern about um, supply not meeting demand. Like there's obviously a heat wave. There, there might be some other reason, like a ton of generators have been knocked offline. A level two energy alert was declared today. This means all hands are on deck. Manufacturing plants and commercial facilities are asked to cut back power usage. Cal ISO said a level three was very likely. We hit level three this evening. And then EA threes are like, hey, um, everything else hasn't worked. Um, really, the, the next step is, is to uh, initiate rolling blackouts. The state's grid operator is warning customers to be prepared for possible rotating outages. And you can look at your sdg and &E bill to find out which circuit you're in. Then you can find the full list of circuits on CBS8.com. Just click the help button. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS8.